Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Vintage Racing League, the Realistic Performance League on the Crossplay Edition. I am one of two commentators for tonight, Malk, and with me, as always, the sidekick. I have to call him uh, Trotter, Trotter's Independent Traders, so we say. He loves the only Falls of Laws this moment. He is Mikey. How you doing, mate? You okay? I'm not too bad, thanks, Del Boy, yourself. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see what wheels and deals we have at the Monaco Grand Prix. So, from your perspective, before we go to the, the track info and also the standings, what's your thoughts of Monaco in general? It's not a favourite of mine. It's quite tight, but it always yeah. brings out quite interesting racing, to say the least. Um, possibly a few safety cars, if you get it wrong. But I think we'll find out later tonight, mate. Yeah, we'll have to find out later on tonight. Uh, just a reminder, guys, we've been told, unless uh, Mikey did tell me last minute on that one, I'm not blaming him for that, but he did remind himself with that. But it's basically, there is a bit of a fault with the lobby, so there might be a chance of a restart if at some point, because I think there might be an issue with the safety car um, or with the formation lap. So. There will, there will be no formation lap. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mikey. There is... Yeah, no, you're correct there, boss. Cool. So there is no formation lap tonight, so we have to try and be on the ball tonight on both <laughs> both races at the same time. <laughs> so, just a quick recap of the, the lineup for the sprint. So, a two... Bless me, he's in first play, in, starting off in first. Nigel Gash will start off in second in that Ferrari A2 in the McLaren in first. JBH in third in the Aston Martin. So with Kent in fourth. Jitter Tiger in fifth with the Alpine. Ricky Mayer is in sixth with the McLaren. Probably Owen is in seventh, position in seventh in the grid with, probably with the Williams. Ash Tube will start in eighth with the Haas. JP, JP 911959 will start in 9th in the Alpine. you got the Ryan in 10th with the Haas car. The only one who's on the Xbox. Mert will start off in 11th, Alfa Tauri. Suspert will start off in 12th in the Red Bull. Kessler 13th in the Mercedes. 14th will be Joe, Mercedes. 15th with MDJ in the Alfa Romeo as well. Are we starting the grid? Are we joined in quickly? Mikey? Uh, yep, yeah, ready to go, obviously. Um, Are we... Oh, you see the load, loading screen, sorry. Just to, just to recap. Um, no, we're just still in the uh, lobby menu at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Now, sorry about that, guys. We just, we just don't want to miss the start of the sprint for you guys because, of the, obviously, there's no formation laps. So we want to make sure we get everything ready. And go. But that, unfortunately for MDJ, he will have a five-place group penalty served uh, from the Austrian sprints. So another five places will be served later on the group penalties. Uh, just a quick recap of the standings. Uh, for the constructors, is Carbon Visa in first place with 162. Acela is in second with 143. AMDJ 2002, Kent in, th in third with 138 points. Fast Cats is in fourth with 127. Brit Irish Back Marcus is in fifth with 116. And the rest are under 116 points. And here we go for the drivers. Merck, who had a fantastic few races, to be honest, is in first place with 140. MDJ starts up, well, he's he currently in second place in the standings of the drivers with 109. Karen Searle, who's had a, um, a indifferent moments in the last few races, is in third place with 103. Ricky Mayer is in fourth with 85. JP is in fifth with 80. Ryan on the Xbox is in sixth with 79. Ginger Tiger is in seventh with 78. Atu is in eighth with 77. Ash Tube is in 9th with 72. Nigel Gash is in 10th with 49 points. A lot to catch up on from Nigel Gash's point of view. And the rest are under 49 points. And I can hear the countdown because we're about to start of the loading of the Monaco Grand Prix for the sprints. Now, I believe, unless Mikey says otherwise, we're going to have 13 laps of the manic tight... I would say you can't make a mistake. It's like one hit the wall, and you, it's like it's like a silly bang moment, bang, and the wing is gone. Moments, Mikey. Do you agree with that? Massive agree. Most of the time with the wheel as well, but if you're lucky, just the wing, mate. Um, yeah, 13 laps and 
the sprint race for this evening. All the things have lost Joe. I'll try and get him back in. Uh, we do apologise for any technical difficulties. Mikey's just doing two things at the same time, multitasking. Fair play to him on that. But while he's just trying to get some of the drivers back in as quickly as possible, we will try and find out the weather situations as we speak. We've not heard anything yet. We've not heard anything yet. We will uh, as we get the loading of the screen once everyone's all set and ready to go. But like I said, guys, if you just joined in, good evening to you all. We are just about to start for the sprint race of the the Monaco Grand Prix for the Real Realistic Performance League on the Crossplay Edition. And this is, and just a reminder, if you just joined in late, there is no formation lap on both races. There is no formation lap on both races because of the issue with the lobby um, from this week's races at Evictus Racing League. So there might be a few issues with the safety car, hence why there is no formation lap. So whether we will get the facts to the safety car without the formation lap, that's the biggest question of it all, because Monaco is, without doubt, the worst track to get. I mean, it will you will guarantee safety car at the, at the Monaco Grand Prix, but it just all depends on... Who's got the bottle to keep those wings and wheel intact, though, Mikey? That's the big question. It is indeed, mate. It is indeed. Obviously, um, through sector one, um, I don't know, obviously, with the one DRS as well, you've got to take that opportunity when you can. Uh, obviously, not proud of it, but I never took that opportunity, unfortunately, on Monday. But yeah. I imagine some of the guys will be able to be a lot more... Um, confidence in their ability and not putting it in the wall and be able to get down to turn one and probably make a move or whatever but I'd say the most dangerous part here is um, just behind obviously the DRS uh, straight itself obviously yeah. as you're coming through um, towards the last uh, three or four corners obviously a few years ago where Charles Leclerc um, took his wheel off and which effectively damaged his gearbox which meant he couldn't run the actual race itself and um, that's always a part for me why I always have difficulties there um, but I'm sure the guys will fingers crossed not have any incidents tonight and obviously wish them all the best of luck yeah fingers crossed fingers crossed ah good evening to Spud he says good evening lads good evening to you Spud hope you have a hope you have a good race on both the sprint and the feature uh, to not, in tonight's release performance league. Scotty! Charles? Charles? How you doing? How you doing, mate? I hope you came well. And Spurs says, let's have some fun. Uh, it's bet we're, we're on the safe seat, to be honest, in the commentators' mm. box, because we don't know what's the weather going to be like. Uh, and Spud says, hopefully I finish. Here we go. We've got one lights, two lights, three Ooh. lights, four lights, five red lights. Ah, we are. Go, go, go. Who's at the grey start? Who's at the grey start? A two. Can make a grey start at turn one. All this. Two in the bed, yeah. Mama. All this. Ooh, contact. The, what happened there, Mikey? Um, I just missed it, but I think it was one of the Alpines. Been ginger target. Um, let's see if he's got damage. Yeah, he's damaged his front right uh, end plate. Unfortunately, it's going to be quite difficult. Yeah. Oh, this crushes. This crushes galore. D d we're just speechless at the minute. It looks like one of the Aston Martin cars. I think that might have been. I think that might have been Kent who's had a bit of a, a moment. And Ginger Tiger and Mert are having a bit of a doggy dog moment too. The bad. Oh, crush. I tell you what, guys. We've got a virtual safety car. we got a virtual safety car. Uh, Jitter Tiger has got a five second penalty for severe collision with MDJ. Ah, he's got no front wing now, Mel. So, obviously, yeah, MDJ hasn't, sorry. So, he's obviously going to have to come in. Um, but I imagine that might be something that might be investigated by the stewards. Well, we'll um, find out in a moment or two. We're just having a quick look on the weather. The weather is all clear. The weather is all clear for the re for the rest of the sprint, I believe, throughout the feature as well. Oh, he's got a five second penalty for speeding the pit lights. That's not good news for him. Jarvis has also gone into the pits. So, just wait to see. I'm not sure. Did. Not yeah, sure, but we Yeah, oh my days. Ricky Bay out of Ash. There we go. Cyberside Mar, that turn three. Oh, Ricky! 
Hit the wall. He's lost his front wing. He has lost his front wing completely. And that is not good news for Rick. Oh, he's going to be careful not to hit anybody. He's going to have to go into the pits, unfortunately, for him. Nigel Gash. Let's have a look at the two Haas cars of Ash and Ryan. They're having a close moment, but i am got to say, at Monaco, Mikey, it's, it is terrible. Uh, 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 the drive, I mean, don't get me wrong. It is so close between the, the track, but you've got to be relying on each other for the confidence to get themselves through the, the tricky sections. Yeah, you, you've got to have a lot of trust in the people that you're driving alongside. Um, obviously, any mistake uh, can literally take both of you out. And it could have changed it, the whole aspect of the race. So, obviously, oh, another VSC. We've got another <laughs> VSC. I'm not sure who's that for, but the Deerish will be activated mm -hmm. after. But Mert was trying to get close to Ryan, but nothing of it. I, I, I could not catch what happened, but someone had the fastest lap. And during that, there is another VSC. I'm hoping that there's not going to be any more issues as we speak. But the VSC will come back in a moment. Scotty says, track temp looking lovely. Lovely jubbly, as uh, Mikey would absolutely love to hear all the time. Ellie, good evening to you, Ellie. I hope you came well. DRS is activated now. Well, DRS is enabled, sorry. We're back live racing. We're back live racing. We've got Ash Chip getting close to JBH for third place, but we're watching the battle between Ryan and Mert for fifth and sixth. The Drivers' Championship leader is getting close. Oh, but, but there's not much overtake galore. And when you do, you've got to get a good exit at that last corner for the DRS because it, it is so tricky around Monaco, Mikey. Mm, definitely. Um, it's, it's, it's it's just it's hard to explain. It, 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 you, it looks like you've got a little bit of room, but you lose a little bit of traction. It's one of them. It's You could ruin your race, someone else's race. And obviously, that's the last thing you want to do, especially around here, where there's nowhere to go. Um Plus, him just watching Ash Tube and JPH here. Um, oh, that, that, oh, that was a, that's in, oh, oh, that very, very interesting chance of trying to make a move there. Um, absolutely very interesting. Just watching Ash now. Owen's got the fast slap of the race with a 112.2. No, I tell a lie. MDJ's got the fast slap with 111.762. So they're trying everything they can. I'm just watching it from Ash Tube's point of view. Kessa drops down, Joe moves up to 8, and they're trying to push out, pardon me, sorry, uh, Ash, 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 oh, close, I tell you what, oh, JBH is holding on for dear life, Mikey, he's absolutely holding on for dear life as we speak. Mm, unreal, obviously, um, obviously race dogs against JPH, I know he... He can make it quite difficult to get past. And obviously, Monaco is going to be one of those circuits where you can use the size of the track to your advantage when you're defending. Obviously, you might not have the fastest car, but you can use everything else to his advantage. And it, it's more or less of, are you going to try it sort of move? Let them put the issue into their hands. Absolutely. So Defending-wise, he's been brilliant. But one thing that has interested me, sorry, Mark, is the fact that Ricky Maru is still out, but he's not changed his front wing. Each, each, since the incident. Yeah, Scotty's mentioned about that as well on the comments. Um, MDJ's got the fast stop of the race so far. Scotty did say, respect to him trying to do a... a uh, trying to do Monaco without a front wing. That is nuts, but also losing a lot of time. But while we're watching that, we had about... We've got two, 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 two car battles... If, if you can get my words right. Two <laughs> two by two cars battle between JBH, Ash, Ryan and Mert. And you can't write the script. Oh! I think Ryan hit the wall. I think Ryan has hit the wall. I don't know if he's had from I don't think he had from ring damage, but he looked like he whacked into the wall. Oh! JBH is gonna get Ash! He's ghosted. He's yeah, ghosted. Ash. That's strange. Yeah, that's strange. But Ash went himself into third place. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, come on! They're going to side by side moments! Oh, crash! I think there might be a contact. 
There might be contact <laughs> turn one, but they're still going at it. I think I think Ryan has lost no a bit. Damage. From, yeah, I was going to say there's no there's no <laughs> damage. Even Mikey's speechless. Mikey is absolutely uh -huh. speechless. JPH and Mert are going to have a really good battle as we're going to see during the 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 sprint race that we're watching live exclusively for you guys on the Invictus Race League YouTube channel for all the live race itself. We're aiming for at least 10 likes tonight, guys. We're aiming for at least 10 likes. would be a massive help to myself, Mark, and to, to Mikey on the commentators box as well as the Invictus Race League on the YouTube channel. Hit that like button, guys, please. Thank you so much. Mert is getting close now. He really is getting close, but he can't make that move. Ricky mayo has got a three-second penalty for multiple warnings, Mikey. So, yeah. damage limitations for Ricky mayo on no... F is he still got no front wing? I believe. No front wing, still. It's fair play. <laughs> a lot of respect for the gains, to be fair. <laughs> Considering it's only the sprint, there's not much intact. I'm surprised Joe's not catching up. Mert has finally made the move onto JP. He's finally made the move on JP. For fourth place, Mike. Mikey. Yeah, I just caught the end of that, obviously going into turn one then. Obviously, fortunately for JP, I choosing the place, but obviously Mir barred his time quite well and then just went for the open space when he could. Absolutely. And just brief moment, MDJ moves us up to ninth. Owen drops down to 10th place. So hopefully Owen will try and push on with, those, with that Williams car as best as he can. But he looks like he's really struggling at the moment. I don't know if he's had any... Oh, he's lost his uh, front right end plate. Uh, completely on the sides. Oh. Completely gone. So, mm. unfortunately for him, he's going to be Darius Limitations to try and hold on. But he will hold on for 10th. But, obviously, with the sprint, you need to be in the top 8. If Ricky Mayo mm. can, get in, can hold on to the top 8 within the next few laps... This would be quite insane, and I've got to say fair play to him. But I've got a feeling MDJ, with those soft tyres as well as the damage of the Ricky Mayo, I can't see Ricky Mayo hold on. And I'm surprised that Jump has mm -hmm. not closed the gap, but he's got a three second time penalty for multiple warnings, Mikey. Oh, that's a shame because obviously Joe was. He's, obviously, he was just closing in lap after lap. But obviously, I'm just watching obviously deltas across the board. And uh, Sir Spud's actually starting to catch out quite a little bit. He's took two seconds out of him in that lap alone. Oh, oh Owen, Owen's retired. Owen has... He's, oh, he's gone into the pits. It's, Mikey's dispre <laughs> depressed on that. He's like, Owen's, <laughs> Owen's out! Oh, in the pits. Oh. oh. Like, <laughs> just out of the blue. So, Owen, if you're watching back, oh. we're sorry about that. Oh, Kessa! Kessa's crashed out on turn one. We've got a safety car. We have got a safety car. And that is... What was going on on Kez's point of view at turn wow, one? I just caught that at last minute. What? Yeah, he's just coming in. I think he's locked up, to be honest, going into turn one. And obviously, oh. car's just. No, I don't want to say anything. Oh no, Nigel Gash has got a drive through penalty for speeding up the safety car. So, unfortunately no. for him, so he will be. Mm -hmm. oh, this is not. Nigel Gash, can he get a break? from the penalties, mm. from the stewards, and from everyone else. This is just insane. Unfortunately for him, Nigel will go to the pits, mm. but obviously the, the, the drive-through will not be intact until the safety car's gone. So, unfortunately for him, he will not carry on, and everyone else should be going to the pits for the fresh softs, you would think. Mm. I'm just watching Joe well, now. Funny. Sorry, Mikey. Mm. Sorry, Mal. Uh, funny you say that. Um, obviously, Atsu, that the come in for a Seth's, um, soft set, the boots so he, obviously uh, I imagine obviously when the safety car goes in he's going to obviously do what he can so it's, it's quick. yeah because so far it's just Atsu Ryan Ricky's coming for his new wing Joe's coming and most of the bottom side of the grid the only ones that happens is Ginger Tiger JP and Kent so far Absolutely, but obviously the softs can last, normally they could last about 18 laps, the mediums can last about 24, the hards can last about 28 laps, so this, mm. that's just the tyre structure, tyre wear that we see, but normally you would, you would say probably about 3 laps, 3 laps difference based off the, the max, but you could say medium hards to last throughout the race if you wanted to with 39 laps. 
but it, mm. it can happen. Or you could do a two stop if you wanted to be risky for risk it for a biscuit moment. But mm. it's just insane stuff. And if you just join us, we're going to you all. We're just coming up to near the end of the sprint. And yeah. if you just joined in, sorry, Mikey. And if you just joined in, Keza is the only the one that had the course, the safety car with the an unfortunate um, safety car mode at turn one. Uh, obviously, ironically, he's actually commented on the on the chat as well. Um, obviously, a bit fun, of a funny one for me. Lol, got caught out by Kent breaking a little earlier and just went straight on. Would have taken Kent out if I tried to turn. It's a bit of a rock and a hard place, that one. It's going to try and make the turn and potentially take a competitor out. Or, unfortunately, do end up sticking in the wall. So It's a bit unfortunate, to be fair, for Kaza. It is. Hopefully, it, he comes back in the main race. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, just unfortunate moments for, uh, for, for Keza itself because obviously he's trying everything he can. He even said, he even said before we had a quick chat with him just before we started, and we saw that his comment was saying that he was actually looking forward to this race. I don't think he's actually looking forward to that crash <laughs> on the on the, the, the sprint. I'm sure he would laugh about that just now. But for the race, I'm sure he'll he'll need a bounce back ability moments for for Kessler because mm. I don't know. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. No one likes Monaco. No one ever likes Monaco, and it's one of the trickiest tracks ever. Really, really tough. I'm surprised mm. the safety car's not got in yet, but uh, the reason why it's not got in because the two cars, the Alpine cars, are too far behind. So the next lap, we're going to have two laps. But unfortunately for Nigel Gash, he will have to do, serve the drive-through penalty as we speak. Uh, Kessler's laughed about it. wasn't wasn't looking forward to that. Indeed, I'm just in it for the fun. Now nah, that's what uh, Kessler has just noted down. And that's good sport. That's the important part. Of it. Yeah, it's having a laugh, taking part. Oh, absolutely. Fair play, Kes. Fair play. Oh yeah, fair play, fair play, Kes. Fair play with that. Uh, so, yeah. So we're just watching Ash Tube now, still holding on in first place behind the safety car. We will have the safety car in this lap because there's about two laps. Two laps of frantic. Now. Ash Tube and Mert, Mikey, they're they're on the current mm -hmm. mediums, as far as I know. Yeah. At two, fresh softs. Oh, Ash Tube's gone. Just I was saying that Ash Tube. Hopefully, it's not gone. Gone. He has gone actually. Uh, Scott says, "Keza, you would have took Kent out. That's literally ideal." Oh, Scotty, you tried to do, you tried to do the stewards thing. Mate, <laughs> you trying to do the Stuart's thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just joking, by the way. I'm just joking. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the race so far. But like I said, oh, that, unless I'm mistaken, one of the ha uh, I don't know if Murph's car is gone as well. Unless I'm mistaken, safety car is in this lap. Safety car is in this lap. I was going to say, at Sue, with those fresh softs, could you think he's got a good chance of getting murked? Potentially, I, I, it was actually a really good gamble to be fair. Actually, from moving being fair, but I'm not too sure. But then one that it does interest me is uh, JPH on ten lap old softs. Yeah, it'd, it'd be quite interesting to see if he can keep fourth. Absolutely. But, Ash has just got himself back in, but he, he can't get back in the car because we're near the end of the race. So he's supposed to go a three-second time penalty. And I'll tell you what. Oh! Merck to the two. Goes side side. And that was a brief moment. Unless I'm mistaken, I think that might be Merck and uh, Ash, uh, Ash Tube and Ash Tube. Ricky Barrow moves up to seven. Ken drops down to eighth place. But remember, Nigel Cash has got to do the drive through. Oh, what's happened, Mikey? Just a little slight bit of contact between both Kent and Joe Hamster then. Obviously, it's just one of them, obviously, just a little train of people breaking and then it's obviously last minute. So, so imagine we'll see what happens later on that. But other than that, it seems pretty clean so far, Mark. Pretty clean, but can a two 
Will you stop blessing and sneezing all the time to get himself murked? To get himself ahead. Jinja Tiger, three second time penalty for multiple warnings. He's got one last chance to learn for this DRS at two. But remember, Nigel will have to go into the pits in this lap. He will drop himself all the way down to the end, unfortunately for him. Now, uh, at two. Oh no, he's kept out. He's kept out. Oh, he's kept mm -hmm. out, so he will be disqualified if it stays like this, unless I'm mistaken. At two. I will apologise if I got that completely wrong. But let me just quickly... Yeah, it, it says on ours it's a drive-through. Yeah, decent. But it might be that you have to be within three laps. That was it. You have to you have to go in <laughs> within three laps. So he must have done that perfectly. But I think that might be damage limitations. So, at two, getting close to Mert. Oh, crash! I think oh. Joe Amster. I think yeah. Joe Amster's... Oh, Sorry, I was literally just I was watching Rick and Barry then go around the around the outside of Brian as the contact between Joe happened. Uh, Unfortunately, we can't watch Joe Amster at the minute because we're still watching the top two. Because I'd say was trying to make the move onto Merck, but I don't think it was enough. And Merck has just done enough to the Drivers' Championship leader of the Realist Performance League on the Crossplay Edition. We'll keep going on that title hunt and he will push on to win and will start in first place in the feature race what well, a Merck at two Bobby will start off in second at Ash Tube in third Nigel Gash 20 oh. second time penalty for unserved try through so he will drop himself all the way down to possibly 11th so he will start off in 11th. I was kind of worried thinking he might be disqualified, so I do apologise if I got that completely wrong. Ash Tube 3rd. JPH in 4th. Ryan in 5th. I will go through the proper standards in a moment or two. Uh, Scott says, I'll just delete my tickets he makes. <laughs> I knew that was, <laughs> was going to happen, Scotty. I knew that was going to happen. So we're just waiting for the drivers, well, waiting for the, the classification for the sprint. Here are your sprint classification for the Monaco Grand Prix for the Invitus Racing League, the Realistic Performance League on the Crossplay Edition. Mert will start off in first and won the sprint race in first. Atsu in second, Ash Tube third, JPH in fourth, Ryan in fifth, Kent sixth, JP is in, uh, in seventh, Ricky Bowers in eighth. MDJ 9th, Suspud 10th, Jinta Tiger 11th, Nigel Gash 12th, uh, 12th I believe, sorry, Joe the 13th from that unfortunate crash, Keza and Owen, they're the two unfortunate had uh, DNFs or crashes during the sprint race, Mikey. Mm. And even, oh, and even, even mm. Spud says, yes, I finished, to be fair. Happy days. It's good to see Sport obviously, you know, be able to be part of it as well. Uh, because I know he's not been obviously very lucky, unfortunately, lately. Uh, but obviously, especially JPH, it's good to see him finally get some points on the board. Obviously, yes. in the, uh, the RP league. So, obviously, it's a good start. Because he doesn't help when, unfortunately, your teammates probably ill. But, you know. You get what you can get your hands on, unfortunately. Yeah, absolutely. You, you got to take the advantage when you, you and your teammate. Uh, if you can't, if your teammate can't do it, you've got to be on the ball. And I will say that now, you've got to be on the absolute ball to be absolutely spot on in the racing because that was frantic. We had a couple of two in the bed moments. We nearly, briefly, nearly had a three in the bed moment at, in Monaco, which is very unheard of. You heard that right, unheard of in the Monaco Grand Prix. I think you might get it from the, the Starfish live straight, but anywhere else, you're just nuts. Absolute nuts, <laughs> to be fair. It's so, <laughs> sorry, Mikey. Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> sorry, I was just going to say, I'd, I'd be mind blown if anyone tried to do a full on free in a bad moment. I'd, I, yeah. I would be gobsmacked. I would, if someone would, would do the odds. On, betting not <laughs> on here <laughs> to be honest um, 
just if you're just joining, good evening to you all. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday evening on the 11th of April, 2024. This is the Invictus Race League, the Real Estate Performance League, on the Crossplay Edition. We've just done the sprint. If you just joined in late, uh, we're just about to wait for the live scenes of the, the the feature race itself. Just a reminder: there is no formation lap due to lobby issues. Possibly due to the safety car coming out. At, I think it's just glitch moments, shall we say. So, unfortunately, mm -hmm. there is no formation lap. We will carry on straight straight in without any messing about at all. So, but if you like what you see so far, guys, please, please, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe to the Victor's Racing League on the YouTube channel for all the live races itself. Um, we're aiming for at least 10 likes tonight, guys. We're aiming for at least 10 likes. Will be a massive help, and I say again, will be a massive help to myself, Mark, and to Mikey, uh, the Rodney, or Dave as we call it. Here we go. Uh, well, it's to those three lights, four lights, five red lights, and we are off. We're go, go, go. Uh, coming up to turn one, Mark, just going to try and hold on. Ashu! He's going to go around the outside. Oh, what a move. What's happened, Mikey? Just slight bit of contact, but I only had a great little start. I see just a slight bit of contact with one of the Alpines, but there's no damage from what we can see. Looks um, like Nigel Gas has dropped himself all the way down to 15, and we've got a virtual safety car. Has Nigel Gas lost his front wing? He has. He has lost his front wing. That's why we have the 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 virtual safety car. But what a move from Atsu. He needed to get a good start. He really needed to have a good start. Hmm. And I tell you what, look at look at some of these setups on screen, Mikey. And he got majority of them going for the mediums and the hards, but Owen is the only one who gambled on the the softs. Do you think that's wise? It could be because obviously, if, see if there is a safety car, you could get lucky and probably go for a medium soft or go hard, see, and then obviously try and weigh out and see what happens through the race. Um, but obviously, the move Owen made from the back of the pack, it's from good start, straight to turn one. Obviously, you've, there's a slight bit of contact, but other than that, it was a, it's just everyone just moved to the left, and Owen's like, well, thanks very much, chaps, I'll just move on the right. Thanks very much. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Don't go yet, Mikey. We haven't finished yet. Ash, <laughs> um, Ash Chim is going to the pits, and I believe Nigel Gash will go back into the pits, and we're back live racing now. Ken Burke. Can Murph finally make the move? He will not make the move, but he's under a, he's putting a pressure on Sue on that McLaren. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna, we are in for an absolute blockbuster moment passing the casino. Oh, would you want to bet on Merck to give himself a double win this evening, Mikey? It, it's <laughs> the race is young, as they say, Mark, so I think we'll have to find out, but. We're still, game, old. 50 -50 goal. <laughs> We're still old. It's 50-50 goal. We're still old. I'm not sure. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a better man sometimes, really, but I, I just want to see what happens. I don't want to say this. Oh, oh yellow flag, sector the one. Flag. That is... I think that might be Ginger. Oh! Ginger? Yeah. Ricky! 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 Oh, I thought Ricky was going to make the move onto Kent. Round here on the chicane part. Oh my days. Oh my god. He really is on fire. Kent is struggling. Kent is struggling with those hard tyres. Ricky. Ri so Sorry, mate. He's got to be careful. Sorry, he's got to be careful. He's got to make a move here because he's got MDJ right on his rear diffuser. So Whoa! Oh! How's he kept that in a straight line? Turn him We got oh, a turn no. him Moment! No! <laughs> oh! Get in! Oh no, crash! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that will be checked by the stewards. That will be checked by stewards. And I will, I, I do feel sorry for Ricky. But will he try and make the, try and make the race full on with no front wing again? Like he did during the sprint. I'm guessing not. Anyway, he'll probably go himself back into the pits as quickly as possible. But to be fair though, both of them will go some side. Kent was just just about ahead unless i'm mistaken i will take apologize next week but it looked mm. like he was just ahead of uh rick but he didn't do enough to turn in and avoid the contact on the inside 
obviously from where I was, because I was obviously watching from NDJ's perspective, from what I saw, it looked like they were side by side. So I'm, I'm not too sure. That's it's, fine. It's hard to say, obviously, from his perspective. But no, no, that's absolutely fine. Marked, 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 marked. Will he get marked into the turn one? No, he won't. And Sue and Ryan, Ryan's having a, a popcorn moment because he can just make this move out of nowhere. All they have to do is make one mistake, and that is it. That, that is game over. Ellis says two races in a row, no front wing. That's really unlucky. I, I did not know that. Uh, I don't know if Ricky had that during the last few moments, Ooh. but unfortunately. Oh, what's happened, what Mikey? Move by uh, MDJ. Lovely move. Obviously, after Casino going down the hill, he's got um, JPH going into the right hander just on the inside. It's beautiful little moves to be fair by MDJ. Fair play, Matt. Matt. Matt is trying to make the move. He will not make the move just yet at the chicane. But Sue is really struggling. Really struggling to hold on. But they're trying everything they can. Sorry, Mikey. Sorry, it's just it's like he's just waiting for it. He's waiting for Atsu to make it. Oh! We both Ooh. said it at the same time. That is that is scariest <laughs> moments. Marked. <laughs> Marked. I thought he made the move. You honestly thought he made the move as well. To be fair, Mike. Yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. It's just wow. Wow yeah. moments indeed. Even Mikey is just star studded, mm. star struck, shall we say, at the Monaco Grand Prix. But we can't move from this top three. We will have a look at the others in a moment. Oh, Ooh. oh, it's out. Oh. Oh, it's gone. Virtual safety car. I'm like to know. Got a casino. Yeah. Did you see what happened, Mikey? No, but I can imagine what he might have done because his front left wheel's gone. So I don't know if he's gone a bit too deep. Going obviously, uh, obviously, you go to the left, then the right. I think I don't know if he's well, if he's gone too deep. Tried to turn right quite a, a little bit later than he usually would. And obviously, unfortunately, he's hit the wall, which has obviously then ripped the wheel clean off. It's a bit of a shame for Owen, to be fair, after the good little start they had. It's quite a bit of a shame, not unfortunately. Absolutely, absolutely. And they're trying to push on. But Owen, this is what I mean. With, with Monaco, you can't afford to mess up. You really, really cannot afford. And we've got a safety car. From a virtual safety car to a safety car. So... Oh, I thought Mert was going. To, he was teasing us. He was absolutely teasing us to try and go to the pits. Then, Mike. Mm, to be fair, it's probably a good thing that Ginger went in on the VSC for the hard tyres, because obviously he'll be able to pass the safety car when he catches it, and he can at least catch the rest of the pack. And it, obviously, whether the guys pit, obviously Joe, Kez, and JBH are currently pitting. So JPH and Joe have got him for the hard compound. Yeah. So they'll probably wait till like the mid twenties to come back in. And obviously Kez has gone for the mediums from the hardest. That's actually quite an interesting strategy. But remember, remember mm. the mediums can last twenty four laps at least. Mm. Twenty four laps. So they they think I th unless I'm mistaken, and based off the pr mm. previous experience in the Monaco Grand Prix. Obviously, this track will guarantee safety car moments, and oh, and as we just see, we've got our first safety car of the feature race. I would not be surprised if we're going to get another safety car this evening. I really am not surprised if we do, because this has helped. I think this has helped the drivers who were who had a terrible first few laps. Especially Nigel and Gigi Tiger, especially. So now Gigi Tiger is going to try and drive like a madman, and once he goes back into the pit, back to the the, the back to the, the bunch of the cars, it is without mm. doubt going to be interesting moments now. Mm. Obviously, I think one that's massively surprised me, and um, obviously this is no, like no like offense, but. I'm amazed they see where Spud is. He's had a great set of laps, so we'll see him in the top, like, set, like, top six. I'm, right. I'm made up for him, <laughs> seeing Spud up there. So, Like I said, I, I really do hope Spud can hold on, but the last few races mm -hmm. he has had, he has had some troubles with 
keeping consistency mm. on track. And that and we're not saying harsh, Spud, I'm sorry if you are watching this back, but based on form, based on experience, you can't you can't DNF at this stage. Mm. And um, from a former champion himself for like many, many years ago, needs to push on and try to stop that completely. Mm. So we, if you just join yeah. Leisure, good evening to you all. We will we've just got the safety car. Uh, for the first time in the feature race, uh, due to Owen, um, no, was it Owen crashing? Yeah, Owen. it was Owen. Yeah, so, know, yeah. so unfortunately, Owen had a bit of a, a mare, mare moment <laughs> at uh, the the casino. I couldn't pronounce it. That's why I was laughing about it. Sorry, not the crash on that. To be fair, Owen, if you are watching it back, but it's more of the fact that he went from virtual safety car to the safety car for the mm. first time in this race. Jujutai has just gone down the past in the casino into the down the hill section now before the tunnel, and he's still got quite a, quite a fair bit. I I will be very surprised if the safety car comes in in this lap. Actually, you know what? The safety car will go in on this on lap eight. Lap eight, we will see the safety car going in. Hmm. And you know why? You know why, don't you, Mikey? Boss, you, 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 oh, Ricky's coming. You know what Ricky's trying to do? He's trying to get those fresh soft and fresh tires to start off and get a good start. He's on the softs now. The soft, you've called it, <laughs> yeah. That's quality. I, I do not know which tire he was going to go on, actually, to be fair. But <laughs> but remember, it, it, I think it's about 18 laps. I said with the, the softs, yeah, it is 18 yeah, laps, uh, yeah. so roughly about 18 laps. So the soft. So he will come in later on in the race to probably get another set of softs. But he doesn't have to worry about it uh, with the tyre... Um, deg. Yeah, tyre deg or anything like that mm. at all. Just to... Oh, oh, sorry, Mikey. Sorry, Mark. I was just going to say, obviously, from a weather perspective, mate, um, doesn't look like there's any rain. Obviously, from what I can see from the screen... Oh, Looks actually pretty, uh, pretty so, beautiful, as we'd say. So, just as, the sunglasses help me. Yeah, I was going to say, get yourself a few drinks because we will have light clouds in the next five to about the next five minutes. There is about eleven percent chance of rain in half an hour, but or half an hour of the race. So that will probably be near the end, but no guarantee of rain tonight. At today at the Monaco Grand Prix, safety car is in this lap. Safety car will be in this lap. You could you could hear. Uh, the clap of moments of Mikey enjoying this moment. Here we go. A two. We'll start off as the theoretically le the safety car leader. Well, the safety car's just gone into the pits now, and it looks like it late. no. He, I think he's going for it. He's going for it now. We're back live racing. Oh. We're back live racing. Good evening to Caden. How you doing, mate? Hope you came well. Says how's it going so far? It's been a classic. It's been really good racing so far. A few safety just joined in with the first safety car finishing. We will we are in the feature race at the Oh two in a bed! Two in a bed battle between MDJ Oh crash I think there's well, wing damage. There was wing damage. Yes, MDJ's lost his front wing between himself and Ryan. So unfortunately for MDJ, he will have to go back into the pits. Unfortunately he will have to go back into the pits. I could not catch who's at fault. At that point in time, but mm. imagine the guy, yeah, the stewards will probably have a look into that. Absolutely. Um, but obviously, I only caught the end of it, unfortunately. So, two in a bed. Not much really. Oh, I thought there was going to be a two in a bed moment between that two and Mert. Kent is going to serve ahead of MDJ. Yellow flags at the two. Ryan has retired. Ryan's gone. What's happened? As he's come through swimming pool, uh, obviously, as you come over back to the right hand side, I don't know if he's. Turning into a little or anything, I'm not too sure. Just this car is just on the right hand side of the right hand. Oh my god, missing. absolutely. Ryan, unfortunately for him, he is retired and will not carry on with this race. So, Owen and Ryan are the two casualties. MDJ with the front wing damage, he's going to back into the pits. So, Spud is under yeah. a lot of pressure from Joe. Can the fly Red Bull uh, hopefully got some wings? He has at the mini. He's trying to push on up the hill. Moments now. This is quite insane. 
from Sir Spud. But Joe Hamster is not Mr. Bound. Spud is saying to himself, just hold on, Matt. Hold on, Spud. Hold on for dear life. <laughs> Go on, Mikey. What was you going to say? I'm just watching this little battle between Rikabaru and Kaz. It, it gets close. It's just... It's, it is quite close. It'll be interesting to see what happens when they go into the tunnel. Obviously, can he get the drive from the corner? And, oh. So there's about five cars behind Spud. So it's just insane moments. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky! He's trying oh, to close. Ricky! Two in the bed. Go, oh, oh. go on! A lovely move go. by Ricky. Lovely. Jubbly. We'll see how safe you there, mate, to be honest. <laughs> you um, do, indeed. Uh, so... <laughs> I've got to say, I've just seen that. That was a great move from... Oh, crash! Oh, Joe's gone. Crash between Ash and Joe Amster. Joe Amster has just luckily... I don't know if he's got throwing damage. How's he got no damage? <laughs> because he caught on onto the curb of the of the swimming pool section and it ghosted at that point. So oh. he was very lucky, very, very lucky. Kessa started off in 14th, he moves up to 8th at the moment. He's trying to close the gap on to Ricky Mayer. Atsuma Merck, Merck, the Drivers' Championship leader, is trying to win uh, double. Scott says, busy now for Stewart's, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, yes. Uh, Ricky is trying to close the gap on to Ash. But um, it was a bit unfortunate moment from Joe Amster, uh, mm. Mikey. But obviously... I don't know, I mean, from a driver's perspective, I don't want to sound la say lag or anything like that, but this is what I was saying mm. earlier on. You need to have confidence with the driver in ahead of you. Oh, contact! Yeah. Yeah. Contact between Ricky. <coughs> so, Ricky's got something. Between Ricky and Ash? Or yeah, yeah, Ricky sorry. Sure. Ricky, Ricky, he's trying to make the move onto Spud. He can't make the move, but. Oh, what a move! Oh! Wow, that oh Ooh. wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a VSC. I imagine that's definitely gonna be going into the uh, the stewards. I, I will um, emphasize that quickly. I did not mention that that was a good move between Ash and Ricky and the chicane part, but I'm just saying in general um I was just saying that was a it looked like it looked like Ash made that move just about, but I thought I don't know if Ricky had enough space for Ash, or Ash did enough to make the move at that point. This is what I mean. Two of the bed moments at Monaco, at awkward places, is never going to work. And we got from virtual mm -hmm. safety car to the safety car again. So we've got a second safety car of the evening again um, from, uh, from a manic, manic race. And I really do feel sorry for the stewards because they're going to have a torrid time this evening. Well, I say this evening, for the whole week to try and figure mm. out what is going to happen next. So unfortunately for Ash, he's out of the race. Same with Ryan and Owen. Oh my days. Uh, he, he just don't know where to begin. Uh, uh, to be honest, they were going side by side at the chicane. Ash was, was just, just behind at the turn in mm. where Ricky was but I don't think Ricky could not do the turn because he went over the I think he just went over the curb and I think yeah. that may have caused the contact between himself and Ash yeah it, it's a weird angle to be honest obviously going at there obviously if you're side by side of another driver it's, it is a bit it, it can be quite hard yeah absolutely but obviously with the, the limitations of space so it's sort of like a bottleneck sort of thing. It's like, well, who gives way? So, but obviously that's something the guy, the drivers do. Um, so the stewards all look into, I'd imagine. But obviously both Merck and that have gone in a uh, fresh set of hards. So I imagine they're probably going to go the distance on these now. Um, yeah, yeah. So the hards, uh, the hards can last throughout the whole race. They can last throughout the whole race. At all, I say normally like three quarters of the race, twenty-eight laps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three quarters of the race. So 28 laps, yeah, 40, 40, if you're on the hards now, up to 41, you're laughing. You're absolutely laughing. But if, you won't be laughing if you're Kent or JPH because they will uh, try to 
I don't know whether they'll try and do another set uh, into the pits. I'm not sure. Kent's the only one mm. out, of the, out of the current racers. He's the only one who's not pitted yet. He's the only one who's not pitted yet. And just a recap of the position changes so far. So the biggest mover is Keza with nine positions. He was saying that uh, he was going to have a good day of the races. But obviously he did have a good mm. time in the, the sprints as he was unfortunate. Uh, could not do anything about it but now he's got a chance to get himself into a decent spot same with Spud as well I know Spud's in 8th but he's still got a chance to hold on as long as he doesn't crash or anything like that he'll be absolutely fine and I've got to say mm. redemption for uh, for Nigel Cash at the moment because he had a torrid time at the start of the race as well as the sprint and yeah. now he's in 7th place from 12th to 7th that is still impressive so the biggest mover is Keza with nine positions, and the biggest loss, or unfortunately for Ash, was ten positions. Mm. But currently, if you have to look at the one that's currently on, is JP in twelfth place with five positions, I believe, mm. moved down. So mm. Mikey, and now we come up to the near, I say nearest to the halfway marker, whenever this mm -hmm. race will be <laughs> at this stage, but. It has been tough. It has been absolutely tough for all these drivers, and you can tell yeah. from those perspective that you can't, you can, you can't make a silly mistake at all. You can't. So obviously, when you say about the likes of JP, obviously he, he has not had the best of luck, unfortunately, in both the sprint race and um, the fit the main feature race so far. Obviously, unfortunately, I think he went into the pits and lap one as well. Unfortunately, so obviously he's not having the best luck, but. You know, he's still going, so that's all that matters. Um, obviously, that guy's obviously on DJ. Obviously, yeah, uh, the unfortunate uh, loss of his wing. Uh, obviously, like you said, Nitro at the start. Do, but I've got I've, the thing is, obviously, I've, with Kent, I'm, I'd be surprised if, in say, the next 10 laps, if he doesn't come in and try and he probably might do a hard soft run. I don't know. If but, he wants, if he wants to do the soft run, mm. he'll have to pity a lap twenty-four at least, or maybe even earlier mm. than that, lap twenty-two, if he wants to do the soft. Mm. But the problem is, with the safe, with the the pits, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, the pit time, roughly, just takes about about twenty seconds, I believe, about twenty mm. seconds. Yeah, so. But from that perspective, he's going to lose out massively. But Kent will have to have, will need to do proper, proper F1 pace. Qualifying lap, yeah. yeah, qualifying lap after qualifying lap after qualifying lap if he wants to get back into the top three. But I think the best person at the moment is Merckx, I believe. Because JP, mm. I mean, JP, he's already pitted. He's going to go with the hards all the way to the end anyway. But I'll be very surprised mm. if he doesn't gamble on the softs later on I, I think they will when there's another safety car but I think the safety car will come in on this lap yeah. the safety car will come in on this lap so Mikey I'll let you do the honours this time for uh, for the bit of commentary oh you know right so oh and there is here's the confirmation from race control uh, so we're going to watch Kent you can tell oh. Mikey's nervous I've I've got, I've got a fear. I don't know. Will, will he go early? Will he go late? How, how is he going to try and catch JP napping? So it'd be quite interesting. Uh, so second to last corner. Watch. Oh, that's He's gone. Yeah. We'll go. Wait. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, okay. Meg's now. The boys getting going. Oh, MDJ there. More ten from the board. Um, what's going on? Matt, Matt. Oh, Matt. He's going to try and go around the outside, but he had a brief moment on JBH. Mm. But that is not. Oh my days. Well, two in a bad moment. We might have a two in a bad moment between MDJ and, and Keza. And what a move, actually, again. You saw that move earlier on, Mikey, with MDJ making that move just down the hill on the hotel part. And this is insane. Mm. Just before just before the bridge. 
uh, just before the uh, yeah, just before the bridge section. Here we go. Marked. Marked. Oh, I thought he was gonna go oh. in the inside. Yeah. Ooh, teasing. Indeed. He's teasing. He's teasing JPH. You're using my words, aren't you, mate? To be honest. <laughs> um, I, I've just let my old mate, what can I say? <laughs> oh, I'll let you off just this once. So. No, Mert, Mert is trying to make the move on to JBH in second place, and he can't do it just yet. But look at this. we got a train, a choo choo of JBH. Because Kent, if Kent gets a good. Oh, what's happened, Mikey? Little MDJ just got a little kick from the back end there, going on the last corner. But obviously. All good, no damage, nothing. Oh, oh Kenta! That's a three second penalty. Oh, Kent! Oh. Kent has lost communication with his car, so that is not good for him. He will lose out on time, but he's got to get himself back in as quickly as possible. And unfortunately, now JPH is absolutely loving this, but not for Kent, as we speak. And I'll tell you what, this has been in extraordinary moments at the Monaco Grand Prix. And here we go, Merckx. Oh, a two. Went way wide before the bridge. Before the tunnel section. I say bridge, tunnel. Wherever they decide, I'm not fussed. It is still a tunnel. I, can't, I don't know why I said bridge, to be fair. It feels like it, to be fair. Uh, JBH is trying to hold on against Merckx. Merckx, this is quite extraordinary moments. Spud moves up to seven. Now... Uh, Ricky moves up to eighth now. Uh, Owen, what? While, while while this is going on, Owen says, "For your information, from my crash, I looked at my Apple Watch and hit the wall." A silly bang moment, should we say? A silly bang. Uh, DRS is now active. Keza's in the pits. Keza is in the pits. Merck is trying to put the pressure on a JBH. He tried it. We got a four car battle for the lead. We got a four car battle. Merck. Oh. JBH is trying everything he can to put two cars. feels like he needs two cars to hold on. If he can win this race, this will be the most extraordinary moment at the Monaco Grand Prix. Do you agree, Mikey? Um, definitely. Sorry, Mark. I'm just trying to see if we can get Kent back in. Um, so we can get access to his car again. But no. Um, just... Merck, wait. It... it, it no disrespect to JPH, I think it's a matter of... Oh! Matter of all! He's going to go for the move there. Yeah. Matter of all! He's going to go for the move. That's the extraordinary oh. moments from uh, from Mikey's point of view. And here we go. <laughs> okay, Mertz trying to put the pressure on. While this is going on, so Spud's trying to hold on in 7th against Jitter Tiger and JP. But we're still watching the battle between the top four. Because he can't lose out too much. And look at this. Look at this. Nigel Cash is also... Joining the pack, so we might have a five-car battle for the lead. The way it looks at the moment, Mert. Oh, Suspon has gone into the pits. Suspon has gone something into the pits. I wonder if he's had front wing damage. Oh my days, Mert had a great exit at turn one. He's going up the hill section at JBH. He's trying to make the move. He can't do it just yet. Great exits. Going to turn five now. Oh my days, lock up! Got a bit deep there, very deep there. He's, oh! I tell you what, he was right there, he was right at the, the um, right at the wall moment. And you can't afford to do that. He's marked, 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 marked! Oh, come on! Come on, you want to make the move? you got to make the move done now! Oh my god, we've got six! Six! Six cars for the lead! Battle! Insane! And we might have the two Alpines to join in the fun! If Jesus Tiger can quickly get himself on the roller, skate, roller skates quickly. But, wow! we Insane stuff! Fair play to JPH, he is making that car as big as possible every single opportunity he can. <laughs> it's one of them, how, how long can he hold on for? You know, it's he's going to have to pit unless he can make uh, Merck and Atsu hang behind him and obviously get hopefully see if the other drivers can put pressure on them to make the move. Four, four, um, so, sorry, Mikey, 14 laps already on the tyre performance of JPH. He's only done 25% at the back right. That's the most of his tyre wear. <laughs> that, yeah. 
because obviously the Monaco Grand Prix track, it, there's no tyre deg. There's not much tyre deg. So they can go all the way to the end. But he's going to have to be mm. careful in the next 10 laps or so if it stays like this. Oh, a lock up! Mm. There's been a lock up. I think there might be a lock up from the McLaren, I believe, or MDJ. One of those cars had a bit of a, a mare moment. Drivers just got a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. What a race. What a battle we are seeing. Considering all the issues that we had at the start of the sprint and at the start of the feature. Now we're in for an absolute blockbuster. You know, flat. Oh, Kess is out. Ooh. Oh. Kess is out after Ooh. the chicane. Oh. Good move by Rikamaru. Oh. I don't know what happened there. I just caught it. Um, just going into turn one. I don't know if he's lost the back end. We had a little, lovely little move on Nitro Gas then, so, so I'm not sure what happened there. I I, I could um, not catch that. Uh, Kessa says, I really don't have any luck. Kessa, I can't say any more, mate. I really, really cannot say any more. To be honest, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, clip the I wall mean, that stuck point. out on that chicane. He's clipped the wall. He clipped the wall after the chicane. That's what he said. Uh, Kent has finally joined, but he'll be, he's going to be absolutely livid with his car and the team because he's dropped himself all the way down to 10th with the car communication issues. But look at this top four. I'm so sorry to everyone that want to see more of the others because we can't afford to lose out this top, top five now. Top five. But if you like... I'm just going to watch this little fight with the Alpine. Sorry, Mo. Go on. Carry on. Give us more update. Ricky. Ricky, five seconds. Oh, pass. Ricky's gone. What's happened to Ricky? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's retired in the pit, Mo. From the looks of it. Absolutely. Yeah, oh! I think he's retired. In. Oh, Merckx. Merckx was trying to make the move, but... These guys are... JBH, if he holds on... Will this be his first win of the season, I think? Unless I'm mistaken. It would be of this season, yeah. It would be his first win of the season. So and a really good set of points for his team. So, so yeah. yeah, so if JBH can hold on, his, his tyre wear is going to be absolutely screaming. Well, I say near the end. It will be absolutely screaming at the end. But it should be alright. It should be alright. Mertz will be fuming. Mertz will be fuming because he wants to try to make this move done. It's like limits of mistakes and you can't afford it you really can't afford it and they're going down the swimming pool section now and i tell you what you just can't write your script so we had 15 mikey we've had 15 drivers to start off with now we've got mm -hmm. 10 the top 10 but 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 finally make the move but finally made the move into first and it's a shame for jp Shame for JP because he did everything he could, but I did say when is it gonna? He's trying to save. He's trying to save ERS. That's why he's trying to save ERS, and and that's the problem when you're in the lead. That's the problem when you're in the lead because if you do, you're gonna have to use them all because they're trying to make the move as quickly as possible. Mm. But you can see that JBH is really struggling like mad. To be honest, no, I massively agree. Yeah, obviously, don't get me wrong, JB. He did a great job, obviously, trying to keep Merck behind. But like we said before, well, how long can you keep that sort of defense up? Like, you leave him a yard, he'll take a mile, sort of thing, when it comes to space, Merck, which is it, 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 easiest of open doors, he'll go for it. But the thing is, how long is JBH gonna hold off against the Atsu? But then, obviously, with MDJ behind Atsu, under that, like, within that two ten barrier, it's 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 one of them. It's is it damage limitations for JPH or can he do it? I think um, I think at the moment he's got thirty three percent of the tire wear. Thirty three percent of the tire mm. wear. We've had two game fresh tires going right the outside of turn one. What a move! Whoa! Just caught the oh, oh contact. Geez. Oh, that is. I uh, imagine that might be a safety car. Oh, no. Yes. No. Maybe. No. Okay. Um, uh, I think I think Mikey <laughs> wants to do a 50-50 for a friend of us, the audience part on who wants to be 
on the Monaco millionaire moments <laughs> of the, uh, oh. but J- unfortunately for JBH, who had a fantastic race, there was contact between MDJ and and himself. To be fair, I think when the move happened from a two, he lost a bit. Of, he lost a bit of momentum. I think JP, JBH, mm. and then when he went up to the up the hill section, I think I think MDJ caught the back wheel. Of uh, JBH, unfortunately, that's when the, the the accidents happen. So now, so now we've got the two Alpines in third and fourth having a good battle between them two. Mm. Inside stuff. They've been quite quiet though. This is the thing they've just picked and picked and picked. And to be fair to the pair of them, obviously, I know the sprint race wasn't too great, uh, but they've kept at it. And to be fair. <laughs> It's like they've come out of nowhere. I was, I was just quite surprised when I looked at the board then. I was like, what? Both Alpines there? What's going on? Just, obviously, obviously, they've just been that quiet for most of the race. It's, I think... Obviously, there were a few moments ago I had a look at because I thought there might be a, obviously a chance between the two. Um, like, there is a possibility with, obviously, the, obviously how close they are, but just, oh, mm. MDJ's gone. MDJ oh, has... I think he's retired in the pits. I think he got frustrated. I think. I mean, I, I like I said, I will apologise if I got that completely wrong, but that's the way it looked um, from from what I could see of the the screen that I, I had at the time. Uh, JP getting close to. G- I mean, Ginger Tiger, the silent assassin. I'm going to call him now the silent assassin or the old veteran silent assassin for him. To be fair, because he kept it quiet. JP, he was at. Who's had indifferent seats of a season so far in this uh, real estate mm. performance league? Unless I'm mistaken, he's been he's been up there, but he's not kept it consistent as well. That's the main thing. Um, yeah, from what I know, mate. Yeah, he's had quite a quiet season, but he's picked up points there like, in little places. Just obviously tried to stay out of any issues as much as possible. Yeah. But obviously, if you can keep it on the track for the next 13 laps, it'd be okay. But the issue is, Mark, like you said, was it 16 laps you said the softs will pretty much go for? Uh, just to recap, uh, sorry, 18 20? laps is the max. But again, these guys could make it a little bit longer than normal. I don't know. Hmm. But JP's tyre... Let's have a look at, quickly look at the tyre wear on JP's car. It is 40-41% 40, 40, of the back rears is not looking good he's not looking good at the minute with 14 laps well, obviously so he's approaching the uh, obviously the potential of a flat because you know sometimes with this game you like, out of the middle of nowhere you can literally get a flat tyre yes isn't really the greatest of things but we, you were going to say sorry man no 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 I, I'm intrigued I was, I was just agreeing with you actually Mikey to be honest because normally it's it's after the 60-70% Marker when the, f- the flat tire is going to kick in. Oh, Ginger Tiger is in the pits. Ginger Tiger is in the pits. And the reason being, he, he gambled on there because look at the gap between himself and Joe Amster. It's 22 seconds. Plus, he's got that oh, penalty. Yeah, he's got the penalty, yeah. yeah I want to have <laughs> three seconds. So, um. for, so, unfortunately, so, fortunately for Ginger Tiger, he can catch up. But he will have a battle with uh, Joe Amster. Let's have a look at where Joe Amster is. He's come up to. The start is low straight now. Where's just target now? He's just at the end of turn one, so way ahead of plenty of time. Yeah, absolutely. And we got a good battle between Joe Amster and Kent. Kent's already done twenty six laps of those hard tires. I did say twenty eight laps was the hard tires. Do you know how has he got those tires? Like how are they not literally just carcasses of a tire? <laughs> I, I couldn't do that many laps on a tyre. Yeah. To, to be honest, the, the tyre wear, is, even though it's 45% for Kent, mm. it is still managed... He's keeping them perfect, actually. He might might go another nine more laps, maybe another 11 more laps, 12, but he just needs mm. to keep it consistent and not keep it in too much of that battle because Nigel Gash is getting close. Nigel Gash is getting close to Kent. MDJ has unfortunately left the Monaco Grand Prix. Hopefully he'll be back for round seven of the Vitus Trusted League, the Realist Performance League. 
on the Crossplay Edition. If you like what we've seen so far, guys, please, please, please make sure you hit like and subscribe to the Invictus Racing League on the YouTube channel for all the live races itself. We're aiming for at least 10 likes tonight, guys. We're aiming for at least 10 likes. It will be a massive help. As I say again, it will be a massive help to myself, Mark, and to Mikey on the commenters box, as well as the Invictus Racing League on the YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much. Hit that like button, guys. Thank you so much. So, watching this battle between Joe Amster, Kent, and Nigergash. Mm. Unfortunately for Joe Amster, I'm just going to quickly look at the penalty. He's got a three second time penalty, so whatever happens, he will drop himself down to seventh, regardless if it stays like mm. this. But but you would think that Kent. Is Kent making the. Oh, I thought Kent. Kent Kent's. Oh, oh, no! Contact! Contact! Between Nature and Kent, then? Oh no. Oh. I, think I don't know if that was a loss of traction, then. As we're coming through the tunnel. To be honest, mm. to be honest, Nodrigash needs to be careful not to get a DSQ. And Jamie has just gone past him now. He's got no front wing again. Nodrigash has got no front wing. But. I, I was on the wrong end of that camera view. Now, I don't know mm. if Kent's just slowed down, trying to not hit Joe Amster on, on, on underneath the uh, the tunnel, hence why he slowed down, hence why Nodgash did not expect him to slow down that much. But unfortunately for them two, I think is Kent kept his wing as well. He has, he's kept his wing, yeah. which is surprisingly... But obviously, I, I would not be surprised if Nigel Gash will be having a few moments with the stewards um, after the end of this race. But mm, it's just I, unfortunate I, I'll for him. Be massively surprised, yeah. But, but uh, like you said, it, 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 it was quite unfortunate because of, you know, it, was, it was quite a really nice little battle between the three of them. And then uh, just on the bend in the tunnel. And then obviously just contact after that. So. I imagine that's the guy, you know, the guys in the stewards team will probably have some comments about that for them to yeah, give us their expertise. Absolutely. JP's got the fastest lap of the race, 111.989. Oh, oh, what's happened? Nitro has crashed at the top of the hill. Oh, he's lost his he lost the end of his wing plate, his brand new wing. Unfortunately, Nitro is obviously going to have to go around the circuit again, and then obviously. Um, Probably go back in for a new set. But oh, Spud's gone in. Spud, uh, Nigel Gash has retired oh. from the session. So he has retired. I think he's gone off the track to retire himself. So unfortunately for Nigel Gash, he is out of the race. So Spud and Kent, they both uh, were in the pits at the same time while mm. we were watching this battle. But you got to say, Merckx, he's just on fire at the minute. And you just can't stop mm. him at the moment in the driver's championship as we speak. Just a, just the league of his own mug, to be honest. It's you know, he's just just yeah. Uh, like I said, obviously you can tell the pair of us are lost for words of what to really say about it, but Absolutely. <laughs> Where'd you start? Yeah, unfortunately, you, you, but, uh, unfortunately for Sir Spud, he is uh, being lapped by Mert. So Mert has gone ahead of Sir Spud. Um, so Sir Spud has, is already a lap down uh, from the leader. So Ken, mm. I'm just trying to look. So let's go through the track. Let's go through the cars while we got up. Because there's not much battles going on at the minute. Mert, unbelievable drive at the minute in first place. Yeah. And, and I just can't see anyone stopping him. You would think that Cameron would be here tonight, but um, I don't know where he is tonight, unfortunately. So it was it, it was him and like, MDJ, who unfortunately had a bit of a contact moment between himself and uh, one of the other drivers that I said I can't remember. But it was a Ricky, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it was. I can't simple. remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I couldn't remember. I do apologise if I've got that completely wrong. But I just there's so much. Mm. There's so much to talk about. So much actions galore, but. You just can't afford to lose out so much penalty, like so much time and races against your competitors, and you can't do mm. that at all. I've yeah. been really impressed with Mert. 
for the, like throughout since I started back in race two, he's been in immense stuff. To be fair, hmm. Was he? Um, was it Martin Cameron or was, uh, uh, Baku? I can't remember off the top of my head. I do apologise if that is wrong. Um, but it's it's just I don't know what it is. It's just just unreal. It's, Yep. Sort of out of this world, to be honest. Yeah, a, a different planet, alien, should we say? As I think that's what Mikey yeah. was trying to say with that. But uh, we've finally got a battle between Kent and Sir Spud for seventh place. So we might we're just going to watch that battle. But we will talk about the other drivers as we see this battle go on until we see any more from JP or Jutta Tiger. And Sue has been. I mean, he's he's been another one that's been quiet. In the races, but he, he made some good moves at the start against Mert, but then I think the I think the the pit stop has has made it worse for him because he lost out mm. on that first place to Mert. So yeah, yeah, because obviously I've, from what I remember, obviously the sprint race itself, he was obviously leading the charge when the safety car came in, went in for the fresh set of tyres, but obviously unfortunately then stuck and fared for. The remaining laps of this um the sprint race but um yeah to be fair Asu, he, he was behind obviously Merck but obviously once Merck had got that started to build that gap it was unfortunately for Atsu there's not much he can hold on to to try and keep pace but to be fair to him he's actually done absolutely very good this um tonight so you know, fair play to him for, for just cracking on Cracking on, uh, indeed. Yeah. Oh, uh, we've just lost. I think Atsu oh. has, unfortunately, as we was mentioning, he's out. He he's got he's not out out from a crash. Unfortunately, he's got car communication issues. So hopefully, he'll not. Yeah, JP JP nine one one has got a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. So that's not good news for him. That was a chance to close the gap on to uh, Ginger Tiger, but we'll go back to him in a moment. We're still watching Suspo getting close to Kent. While Mikey's trying to get Atsu back into the lobby, I think it might be a bit too little, too late for him to get himself back in. But we're still watching this battle. So, Jujutaka. Um, sorry, Mikey. Strange. Sorry, Mel. Um, for some reason, AI has gone into the pit and put 12 lap on uh, medium tyres on. Very strange. That that's not that's not him. That's the game. No, and that's what I'm saying. Like the AI's done that of its own thing he's also we know that's not Atsu that's done that unfortunately yeah so unfortunately for him he will have some um, slow tyres uh, slowish tyres um, to finish off the last 5-6 laps of this race we, we do apologise that there's not much battles galore because of all the crashes that we've had during the race if you just join ladies and gentlemen good evening to you all we're coming up to the end of the the feature race the second race of the evening but Mert has just been an, an out of this world driver this evening and he's keeping that run going on the drivers championship as we speak but fantastic stuff and we're just watch, just watching Sir Spud try to close the gap because he's the only one that's close to to the next driver which is Kent but this is just insane absolutely fantastic racing uh for well i say from all from the top eight because they're holding on for dear life and not crashing at all <laughs> but i do feel sorry for some of the drivers who are just not making that move done as quickly as possible mm. it, obviously just obviously looking at some of these del oh jp's also oh, oh. So, unfortunately for JP, we've had another casualty with the car communication. So, he's out of the, of the race. So, at Sue uh, or Joe Amster, if he can have a lot of uh, rocket on that Mercedes car to get himself into the top three, that would be insane stuff. But Merck and Ginger Tiger, the silent, the silent veteran assassin, or JP's got himself back in, but I don't know whether he can get back into the car. That's the big question of it all. Because we are, I think he's been quite lucky there. To be fair, Mel, because uh, we are still trying to get at don't know if Atu's in, but we are still trying to get him in. He's still, um, unfortunately, with the car communication issues. So while we're waiting for that, Joe, I mean, we haven't mentioned about Joe Amster to be honest this evening because he's not had a great 
success in this uh, the Monaco Grand Prix. I, I don't want to sound it in a harsh way, but mm. it's just un unfortunate for him. Uh, he can't. Yeah. So yeah. Especially with that contact. Oh, and Atu's back in. That's obviously that's good to see. Um, but obviously it was a bit of a shame obviously when he had that obviously slight contact with the corner earlier on in the race. Yeah. But obviously it's it's good to see each of us got this far. But just looking at the delta here, yeah, the next possible fight could be Joe Hamster and JBH. To be fair, but, oh, oh JP. JP's gone. Yeah, what flags. Um, I'm just trying to have a look. Uh, I'm just uh, watching it from a Sue's point of view. He retired at the 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 hairpin. He retired or crashed at the hairpin. So unfortunately mm. for him, he is out of the the Monaco Grand Prix, and he'd be fuming. He, I, I'm wondering if he tried to get himself back into the car, and it was too far, too little, too late. To get himself back in, and he will be fuming. He, I will not be surprised. So Joe Amster trying to hot. Well, you might be right there. Joe Amster and JPH having a bit of a, a doggy dog moment, but obviously Joe Amster with that three second time penalty, he can't do anything about it with 26 laps already on medium tyres. Just having a quick glance of the tyre wear. 40% already at the back right side for uh, JBH. It is on the softs. Just have it. Oh! Jaramso, red on the bottom left. Uh, the back left. 76%. I'm wondering, has he got. 70, yeah, 76%. It is red delta. Red delta. Jitter Tiger. What's up? Jitter Tiger's going up to first. Merp's dropped down. What is going on? What is going on? I, I don't know what's going on. It's. Uh, eh? Eh? That would say he's. What? What? Eh? Um. Uh, uh, I think we've got a slight technical issue, so we do apologise. Um. So on, so on the track, I can see Mert is behind Jitter Tiger. But Jitter Tiger. He's already at turn one, and he's already gone way past. So the the delta is not working as expected. We're on the far lap. We're on the far lap of this race. I am speechless at the minute because I think the delta is completely broken as we speak for the top two. I think the top two is. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if there's possibly an issue. To be honest. Because uh, from what I can see on my screen, it's saying blue flags. Um, so I, I, I'm not sh too sure what's happened. I'm not too sure what's okay. happened. It said lap 39, but then it went back to the lap 38. So we've. I'm wondering we've had mm. issues with it now. So top seven. Um, I think. Oh my days, Kent Jaramster. Um, yeah. So there's blue flags everywhere. That I could see, but the two cars are just clashing together. So Jarvis is in six, trying to close the gap. But oh, I've got Jarvis fourth on mine. I've got JPH is third, Atsu fifth, Ken sixth. So on uh, my screen, seventh. yeah. So on my screen, say Mert is first, JPH is in second, Jarvis like in third, Atsu fourth, Kent fifth, Jarvis the sixth, and then Spud seventh. Guys, we do apologise. We might have to look at the race results at the end. We we're not going to look at the battles that we're seeing right now because I think there might be a slight technical fault with the lobby. So we might have to find out. So JP, I oh know JPH is dropped out of fifth. So it might be JPH's car. That's the one that's lagging a bit. But I'm not sure about the top two. I'm not sure about the top two. Oh, to, yeah, because I keep getting it switching on mine from Ginger Tire to Merck, Ginger Tire to Merck, and then obviously, um, it, it, it just, just keeps jumping about, so Atsu goes down, Kent goes down, JPH goes, it, it's just, there's no consistent, you know, oh, oh, it has confirmed the race has finished, apparently. Um, but on my screen, Merck, yeah, so, Merck is still on the, the chicane after the tunnel. So apparently, Mert mm. did finish first. Obviously, 
we've got Ginger Tiger coming through to the last uh, the last corner now. It's the RS we'll find, yeah, we're just going to find out a few moments, but we do apologise on the last few laps because I think ever since that Sue left the the lobby, I think that's where everything went. Um, the, mm. Yeah, bit mm, moments. Yeah, absolutely. At Sue, so we're just watching the last few corners now. At Sue, we're crossing the line. We'll finish off in third. So Spud, fair play to him. We'll finish off as in yeah. seventh place. And what a result for him, actually, considering. Yeah. Do you know what? It's good to see him finish the race. Obviously, he was unfortunate on Monday. But it's, it's, to be fair, in my opinion, it is great to see Spud obviously get a good set of solid points and finish the race. So fair play to Spud. Yeah, yeah fair play. Fair play to Spuddy, he'd be absolutely delighted. I've, from our screen, it looks like Mert has won the race, but might need to get all the other results confirmed for other other people because we're, myself and Mikey, have got different results when we was watching the race, so we'll find out in a moment too. Uh, um, Spud says, I did hear you, Malk, earlier. Sp uh, JBH says, I will take fourth. Haha. <laughs> Absolutely, but we'll find out the results. Now, guys, if you're in the chat and you've just done the race, we might need to get your results in because the results that we had are a little bit different to what we've seen the last few laps. So we'll give you the race classification for what we saw, from, from my perspective, from what we saw. But unfortunately, it might have to be double-checked by the, the other drivers. So here are your race classification, possibly finished uh, in... At the Monaco Grand Prix, Mertz will finish off in first. She's like a second at Sue, third. JBH, fourth. Giles, the fifth. Ken, sixth. J Spud, seventh. JP, Nitro, MDJ, Ricky, Keza, Ash, Ryan, Owen. They have all had the DNFs or crashes during that race. And if you just joined in and you wanted to find out what happened in the, sp in the sprint earlier on, Mertz won it in first place. Then at Sue in second. Ash Tube in third. JBH in 4th, Ryan in 5th, Kent in 6th, JP in 7th, and Ricky Mayo will finish off with the points in 8th place. And those are the rest of the other results. The sprint is correct, but I'm not sure about the, the race. So that will have to be checked by all the drivers and the stewards, just to be absolutely certain. But I think there was a bit of um, issues that we had from our side. But bear with us a sec, guys. We will be right back for the... Uh, for the interviews if we do get them in so we'll try and get Mert's results in probably Jitter Tiger if he is available and we'll try and get back in as soon as possible see you in a bit
Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the British Vs League, the Realistic Performance League, on the Crossplay Edition. We've just done the Monaco Grand Prix, the most awkward track that we've ever known, with barriers galore, and I'm sure everyone will be absolutely thrilled that this is finally out of the calendar for this season, because we had 15 drivers all the way down to 7 drivers and it's been an absolute insane moment and in the commentary box while we're just waiting for the drivers to get themselves sorted we finally after decades should we say finally got murked in probably to join us in the commentary box so we'll talk to her in the moment too and also the the silent veteran assassin of ginger tiger he didn't hear that until now. I'm going to set that in the stream. So he'll be absolutely laughing about it after. So, um, don't worry about the voice and stuff, guys. It's um, You don't have to worry about that because it's all through the OBS. So, Mert, how are you doing, Mate? You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Thank you. Good man, good man. Now, you had you had some great battles with Atsu before, unfortunately, due to his car communication issues. But you had no trouble really at the first few laps as such it was when you made that move on a two in the feature that made it back to the first place in i think it was from the pit stop is that correct yeah i'm not really sure how that happened but yeah that was obviously um very helpful absolutely absolutely and it helped you out massively with the the driver standards which we'll talk about at the end from your perspective but You've just got the form of your life at the moment, and we're just we, me and Mikey were saying that it's like a, a different, your different planet, different alien, driving around all the different tracks. So I just can't see, it. I just can't see you getting stopped at the moment. And surely you'd be buzzing, like beaming with confidence, coming up to just over the halfway marker of the racing. Yeah, I think you know it's been a good first half of the season, and yeah, as much as yeah, I always want to win and, and do well, and yeah, sometimes it's a lot easier than others. But yeah, today was difficult, but yeah, I managed to make it work and just have no damage. That was the main priority. Absolutely, and it, Monaco was, as you rightly said, Monaco is um, one of those tracks where it is tough to try not to hit the wing or hit the wheel itself and that kind of helped you out massively uh, this evening my other question before I mention about the drivers is are you surprised that Cameron Searle and MDJ either not turned up or um, had a bit of car issue or um, contact during the race that they're not in the top three to catch you this evening yeah, I think it's a shame with MDJ, you know, it's always difficult trying to make your way back through the field, especially when, you know, you've got someone that's ahead of you in the championship and they're able to drive away because they've got clean air. It's always difficult. Um, and, yeah, it's a shame that Cameron hasn't turned up for the past couple of races because, yeah, it was close, but I'm not complaining. Absolutely, absolutely. But I would be being with full confidence and having a massive advantage because obviously with the performance league one mistake and you and it will be right down to the wire again so you're going to have to keep that consistency going and with the driver standings you must be absolutely delighted that you kept first place obviously with other situations going differently and in your favour at the minute do you feel like you can hold on that position now to the end, or do you think there'll be a few shocks from your point of view? Well, as long as I stay consistent, I think um, I've always got a good chance of, of being up there. I've just got to, you know, avoid avoid you know battles that I maybe don't need to fight. And you know, luckily today, I think either everyone ahead of me crashed, or yeah, I was able to kind of just make my way through quite easily. To be fair, more so than I was expecting but yeah I think certain races are definitely a lot closer and I think we have seen that and yeah we'll see what future races bring but yeah hopefully um, yeah, we've got plenty more battles coming and some good racing Absolutely, well done Mert for winning the Monaco Grand Prix, absolute 
absolute unbelievable moan. Uh, Mikey, have you got any questions for Merck before we go on to Ginger Tiger? Uh, not really, mate. Um, it was mainly just to say, just some, one or two of the moves you pulled is unreal. <laughs> like, just obviously, I couldn't do that myself, so fair play to you. Obviously, see some big cojones, as some people would say, so, but no, great bit of racing tonight, mate. Um, just, yeah, good luck for the rest of the season, Paul. Yeah, thank you very much. And no, to be fair, it's uh, everyone else kind of drove cleanly in, from my point of view anyway, you know. Um, which is always a bonus and a big help and yeah there were some good battles with you know JPH Hatzer so yeah mm. it was some good race and uh, yeah before I go congrats Ginger on the podium if he is there Ginger sir I am here thanks thanks mate because I was going to wait for you to finish oh no I'd finish <laughs> but yeah no worries <laughs> thanks Steve nice one nice Cheers, one guys. nice one well done Mert. Um Ginger Tiger how you doing mate you okay yeah, I'm good, thank you. Knackered. Knackered. I, I bet because you, a few times where you was, unless I'm mistaken, you was, uh, as I, I keep saying that you was the silent assassin, the veteran assassin, shall we say? Because, um, <laughs> because veterans are about right. He, he, I, I was I was trying to be polite then with the silent assassin yeah, stuff. Thanks, mate. <laughs> um, but from your perspective, it's it's been absolute insane because you was at the right at the back of the grid, a couple of times this evening and then somehow you just kept it quiet did your job everyone make mistakes and then somehow you got yourself a podium so surely you'd be happy with that oh i'm, I'm over the moon to be honest i um yeah it was a bit messy um always is starting towards the back turn one the incidents start happening and you know broken wing and i think I, my rear wing was broken from lap 11 when ash tube hit the back of me and spun me around so right. my rear wing was broken and uh, I was trying to be as careful as I could but as consistent as I could and I got lucky I felt sorry for Apchi really he uh, he obviously disconnected um, I was trying to catch him because I had to pit anyway and I thought well going on to softs I might get reasonably close with a few laps to go yeah. and then I saw him disconnect so yeah I felt sorry for him in, in that case but I'm always delighted to pick up an extra place absolutely and you did and you did very well to like keep that momentum going and try to push on massively but surely this would help you in the drivers and also the constructors building that confidence up after that Monaco manic moment shall we say yeah yeah, I, I, I'm just a bit gutted for my uh, teammate Nitro Gash. Um, I think uh, something happened with him, and he had a, he also had a broken wing, and then I think he totaled the car. Um, but between us, it's a case of just trying to get as many points as we can. We know we're never going to be at the front, but uh, we'll always try and get as close as possible, get as many points as we can, be, as we can and be consistent. That's all it is for us too, really. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was the consistency that that helped you. In the end, yeah. In the end, yeah. You, you've you've put my words in my mouth. Fair play, mate, for that. Sorry. No, no, you did that well. That was spot on. That, that helped me out massively, um, to be honest. But from your perspective, I know you you were saying that you're not gonna, always going to be in the top top five, should we say, all the time. But you're. No. But you always want to try and get the points between you two as well and obviously the luck will kick in that you never know that could happen but was you was you surprised that you was in the top two this evening from your perspective uh, yeah oh yeah definitely i d definitely i think uh, i raced last night and last night i i was just about to be lapped and the safety car came out and i pitted with a leader about two seconds behind me and i got out just in front of him and managed to go all the way around and catch the pack up and it happened exactly the same today um i pitted not far from the leaders coming round. yeah and i got out just in front of them for the safety car and i managed to go all the way around from, to the back of the field um and luck is definitely involved around here and it's just about keeping it out the walls and as steady as you can i felt sorry for jp as well because i don't know um he was right behind me all the way. Yeah. Um, um, but I didn't see what happened to him. He has messaged me, but I didn't see what happened to him. 
I think there was, um, unless Mikey can clarify again, I think he had a bit of contact or like had a bit of a, a mare oh. moment, I think. But, but yeah, just have to wait and see how everything goes on yeah. from their perspective. But from uh, last thing, Ginger Tiger, I mean, that was, I was just going to mention about the battle between you and, and JP. That's going to be one of the best battles you've had for a very, very long time in RP. Yeah, it is. I mean, as long as you can place your car in the right place, um, you should, nobody should pass you really in Monaco unless they dive bomb you. Um, yeah. I was just trying to keep it in the right place. I knew, I knew he was there, but also knew he wouldn't risk anything. Um, then I saw he got the three-second penalty. So if he really was pushing me, I was going to let him go and just stay with him. Um, it, it's just about management, really. When there's so few cars left in the race. Um, just get as many points as possible. But I'll need them this week because I'm not here next week, so Nitrogash is going to get them all for me. <laughs> so no pressure then? No pressure? No, none whatsoever. Fair days, fair days. I, I do feel sorry for Nitrogash because he had a, an unfortunate race this evening. And, he did. Uh, well, not just the not just the feature, but the sprints as well. He just had... Yes, he did. He, I was, we, do, we do chat um, during the race and... Uh, there's a few choice words coming out. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised, to be fair. I would have been the same if for him, to be honest. But I hope uh, whatever happens, I'll probably see you in two weeks' time, Jiu Tiger. But whatever you're doing, I hope you have a good break. Whatever you're doing next week. Thank you very much. Um, Mikey, have you got one last. Have you got any questions for Jiu Tiger before we shoot off? Yeah, just a quick one. Obviously, I know the sprint race was a bit of a weird one for you. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, but obviously to come up, obviously if you watched the stream back, you even at one point. I was generally quite surprised because it was like you just come out of nowhere, both RP cars. Uh, in, in a way, I was obviously because the notice of other battles or whatever, but you just just bided your time well. Obviously, like Mal said, it was brilliant for the racing between the two of you. You know, some fair play. It was just it was pretty good to watch. To be fair, just work together like. But yeah, fair play, mate, and uh, we'll hopefully see you back on the uh, top step eventually. Soon. Yes, yeah, and uh, mum's in two weeks, I think it is. So, Ooh, and I'll be starting, I'll be starting at the back again. So we'll see what happens then. Um, but I mean, I'll, I'll take the points this week, and thanks for the comms, guys. No worries, no worries. Cheers for that, mate. And uh, yeah, see you in two weeks' time in round eight for you. But um, other than that, well done, Ginger Tiger, for finishing off in second place. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. No, no worries. Uh, we are going to be shooting off now for the Invitus Swiss League, the Rinners Performance League. We've just done both the Monaco Grand Prix and the interviews. Um, can I just say a massive thank you to everyone on the chat. Ellie says, cheers for the commentary, guys. No worries, no worries. Spud says, he had a fantastic last 10 laps. He did have a fantastic last 10 laps to be fair and uh, yeah well done for finishing off in seventh place I know that was a Monaco is a tough tough place to go and when you try and win the right try and get that finishing line moment that's that's great without making any mistakes at all and fair play to him Mikey can I just mm. say congratulations to you uh, for doing the comms um, absolute genius you are as always and uh, are you here for next week? Are you here for round I seven? I will be. I will be indeed. Indeed. Uh, indeed. As always, thank you, Mal. Indeed. Uh, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> moments. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, as always, it's a pleasure, Mal. Nice one. Yeah. Nice one, Mikey. Uh, right. I'm going to shoot off. Well, well, not only me, but Mikey as well. We're both going to be shooting off. We'll be back for round seven of the Interstellar League, the Real Performance League, on next week. If you want to find out some more live races check out monday night for the tier three on 8 p.m for the equal performance check it out tier two on tuesday nights same time equal performance at 8 p.m for tier one will be wednesday nights at 8 p.m for the the top flight of f1 but for us we'll be back next week for next thursday on the 18th of april 2024 see you in a bit guys try a bit bye bye Bye.